Hello guys, in this video, I would like to talk about on how to create a progressive bar. So let's proceed with the previous video. So create a second layer. Okay, layer. So we can just name this layer as progress bar. And then the first layer as button. Okay. And then we create a new layer, we put it as final text. Okay. So from this layer, okay, on the frame number three, right click and then insert blank keyframe. Now we will do a progressive bar. So first select your rectangle tool, okay. Uh, choose a black color for your stroke color and then the fill color choose it as red then draw a rectangle okay as you can see the progressive bar has a very thin stroke so i don't want that okay delete this we select the rectangle and then we increase the stroke color let's say 5 now i draw a very good rectangle Okay, and then I select this I click align I make sure it is centered okay now I want to do this progressive bar okay I want to animate it from here until here where is it click this pre transform tool okay and then make sure this white dot we call it as anchor point is move to the left side and then we shrink this image to the left so we try to animate this progressive bar okay let's say in the multiple of uh, 3 so 3 after that is 6 okay right click insert blank keyframe oh I'm so sorry okay right click and then insert keyframe click somewhere else okay click this red portion and then we enlarge it okay and then repeat the same step okay after 6 is 9 right click insert keyframe okay click this and then move this white dot Okay, and right now I will fast forward the video until the bar fill the empty space. Okay, done. So now we have an animation of a progressive bar. Okay, remember this final text layer. So, first we have to move this layer to the second frame so click this and highlight everything click it and move it to the second frame and this frame click it and move it to the last frame which is here okay meaning after we click the button okay first we delete this uh, extra frame okay remove the frame so when we click this button it will play this progressive bar and then it will show the last result alright so we have to modify a little bit the code remember these actions okay click this action and click and then click this frame number one okay remember this is the code when we click it it will stop at the next frame so we have to change it to go to and play so inside this bracket you have to insert the number of the frames so because we start at the frame number two so we have to insert number two here but if another frame then it will be the number of the frames okay understand so now when we click the button it will go and play the animation and then go to the text okay, minimize this now let us test it 
so everything is fine no error when we hover the button still do the animation click it okay see the progressive bar uh, do the animation so remember why we cannot stop at this frame this is because we don't put the stop function so very easy okay just click this last frame okay and then press f9 and then just write the stop function now when we test this it will be like what we want to do control and test okay no problem play done i think that's all for this video hope to see you again in the next video assalamualaikum